What's up guys? In this video, I will show you how to screen mirror your phone to your Panasonic TV. Now, over here I have my 43 inch Panasonic TV but it doesn't matter the type or size of Panasonic TV you have. By the end of this video, you should be able to connect and display everything on your phone to your Panasonic TV. Now to do this, first things first, you have to make sure that both your phone and your Panasonic TV are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So if you come over to the Wi-Fi settings of my phone over here, you can literally see my phone is currently connected to my home Wi-Fi and on my Panasonic TV, the TV is also connected to the same Wi-Fi as my phone. Now once that is done, you want to come over to your Panasonic TV remote control, then go ahead and press on the menu button at the top of your remote control over here. You can literally see the menu button over here. Just go ahead and tap on it once and you're going to see this menu over here on your Panasonic TV. Now what you just want to do is to scroll over to the network settings. So come over to network settings over here using your navigation buttons over here. Now scroll over to the right and then you just want to continuously scroll down until you get to the mirroring settings over here. Go ahead and select that and then over here you want to make sure that easy mirroring is turned on so if it is turned off just go ahead and select it and then click on on to turn it on now once that is done just press on the return button now come down to the powered by easy mirroring and also make sure that that is also turned on so if it is off make sure it is also turned on now once all of this is done you want to come over to your phone and on your mobile phone you want to go ahead and look for the screen mirroring or screen casting feature on your device now the location of the screen mirroring or screen casting feature can actually differ depending on the type of phone you're using for some mobile phones what you just want to do is to scroll down to this notification center and at the top over here you should be able to find the screen mirroring or screen cast or cast option if you do not find it here you can just swipe to see other options and you're going to see the cast option you can literally see mine over here in some phones it is actually called screen mirroring so go ahead and look for screen mirroring or screen cast in some other phones you may not find it actually from here what you just want to do is to go over to the settings of your phone so go ahead and open up the settings of your phone if you do not find it from the top and you should be able to find the screen casting or screen mirroring feature from over here you can come over to more connectivity option over here you can literally see the screen cast feature on my phone also so you can either find it from the settings of your phone or just from the top notification center now wherever you are able to find the screen mirroring or screen cast or cast feature on your phone you just want to go ahead and select it and then make sure that cast is turned on or just click on the cast option and you should be able to search for available devices that your phone can actually mirror to so just go ahead and give your phone some few minutes to search and find your panasonic tv now over here you can literally see the name of my panasonic tv it just appeared and you can literally see the panasonic vera tv so just go ahead and select it just like so now give it some few seconds and at the bottom over here you can literally see a screen mirroring request so we'll go ahead and select the yes option so just come over to your remote control and then make sure you select yes just like so and then on your phone you also want to make sure you click on the accept option and automatically your phone will be mirrored to your panasonic tv it is currently connecting to redmi 12 and as you can see it actually works pretty well now one thing you have to note is that i have actually tried this several times and depending on how strong your wi-fi network is you might actually have to try this several times before it will actually work for you in my case i had to connect it to another wi-fi network before it actually worked another thing you can actually do if your phone is unable to find the name of your panasonic tv is to just go over to the screen mirroring feature option under the screen mirroring settings where you have delete all pair devices you want to make sure you delete all paired devices and then you also want to make sure you try clicking on the cast option several times and trust me it is going to work perfectly well for you if you find this video useful please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one